Hello, I'm Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and a couple of months ago I bought me a Parrot Bebop 2 FPV quadcopter and uh, I have really been enjoying the FPV part of it. It actually immerses you. You think you're up there flying around in a quadcopter and I've got some funny stories about that but I'm not going to take time to uh, to tell those stories because what I want to do is tell you how I almost ruined the battery on my quadcopter. Uh, as you can see in the picture here, that's the battery that comes with the Bebop 2 FPV setup. And uh, it's a, a LiPo battery. That's lithium, uh, lithium ion um, polymer battery. And they are special, uh, they take some special care. Uh, my first FB, FPV type quad was a Phantom, not a Phantom 4 or 3 or 2, but the original Phantom, and um, it used a 2200 milliamp hour uh, battery, and you had to be careful to make sure that you charged it and discharged it and took care of it, and uh, and it worked fine. You got about six to eight minutes of flying time off of that with that with that quadcopter, but with the uh, with the Parrot, it's got a I think it's a 27 hundred milliamp AR battery and you can get just almost a half an hour about 25 minutes uh, of flying time but uh, what happened was I got so involved with having so much fun with it that I neglected to care about whether or not I was uh, watching out for my LiPo battery and a couple days ago I put it on the charger and started getting the flashing red light uh, and I'd unplug it and plug it in again. So then I got on YouTube and I checked around and uh, found out that uh, there's there's a lot of uh, people that have that kind of, that same problem. And there's all kinds of ideas on how to how to fix it. On YouTube, there are all kinds of ideas on how to fix it if you have two or more batteries. But unfortunately, I only had one battery, so I could not use any of their suggestions. Um, what happens is the as you are charging the uh, the battery and discharging it, if you're not paying any attention, you end up with um, uh, one of the three cells either gets overcharged or undercharged, and it's usually undercharged. And uh, so then, when you put it on the charger, you have unbalanced cells, and that's a dangerous situation. Uh, with a LiPo battery, so uh, the charger notices that it's they're not all getting the same roughly the same amount of current So it gives you a flashing red light and stops charging the battery so um, uh, That's what causes that and we won't go into the details of how come but I'm going to show you my log here of uh, different flights that I've made and uh, over on the left hand column you can see the date of the flight and uh, next couple columns over the duration of the flight and most of them were fairly short flights they didn't last a long time and then over under the battery column you can see that um, except for my latest one which I'll show you the video that started at 74 percent and then got down to seven percent okay but let's take a look at some of these other ones here here's one 98 percent uh, and then when I quit flying it was 65 percent so then I charged it up again the next time I flew, 98% and then 74%. And then I charged it up again, 98, 91%, 71%. I charged it up again, 98%. Now this time it only got down to 91%. 99%, see I charge it every time, okay? It gets down to 75. Uh, now this time here I ran at 75 to 54, so I didn't charge it up in between times. But as you can see, I was just every time I wanted to, uh, every time I finished flying, I'd come and top it off. Whether I had been testing or flying, I would always top it off. And the problem be, be, happened that took place was that uh, the battery never got discharged. And so uh, there's a lot of suggestions on how to fix your battery uh, on YouTube. And I'm not going to say this is the only way to do it. But what I wanted was I wanted my battery to be uh, balanced out. And the best way that I know of to balance out the cells is to just put it in the quadcopter and fly it 
and run it down to where this the the battery is uh, near uh, being recharged. So that would normally be 20, 10 to 20% of uh, charge left in it. So uh, in the video I'm going to show you, I actually ran it down <laughs> further than I should have. But now all the cells were fairly closely balanced. And, uh, and so that balanced it out pretty good, and, uh, or nicely, I should say. And so then when I put it on the charger, uh, it didn't give me a flashing red light because the charger didn't detect any unbalanced uh, state. So this, the situation is, if you're going to, whether you have a Bebop or a Phantom or any, uh, any uh, LiPo battery in your quadcopter, it needs to be charged up and charged and discharged all the way down. Uh, and I wasn't thinking about that, and I ended up almost ruining my battery. But what I did was I just uh, put it in the quadcopter and took it out and flew up and down the street, around the neighborhood, and just flew and flew and flew for about 18 minutes and that used up the uh, that used up the battery down to uh, further than I should have but anyway it was seven percent when I actually got the thing landed and then when I put it on the charger uh, I didn't get the flashing red light because the cells were pretty much almost the same and then what happened was uh, about oh two-thirds of the way through the charge uh, I started getting the flashing red light and when I checked it, the charger was really, really hot because I had discharged everything too far down. So the charger was extra hot. So I let everything cool off, put it back on charge, and I didn't get a flashing light. And then it finally, <laughs> finally turned green and everything was all like it should be. So my suggestion is this. If you're going to just go for a little quick flight to get, get your fix for the day, uh, and it's still in the 70s or 60 percent. Uh, don't go re recharging it. Just save it till the next time you want to go out and fly it down to about 20 percent. When it hit 20 percent, it's a good time to start looking for a landing because what I found was after about 15 percent, it dropped off really fast. So uh, well, I learned my lesson and I hope that this uh, <laughs> this helps you. By the way, I'll put I'll put a fast motion of the video that I took while I was flying, uh, just to to wear the batteries down. It's pretty boring, but uh, that's the flight that I did. It lasted 18 minutes, and uh, by the time I was through, my battery was down to seven percent. But what you want to do with a lipo battery is uh, discharge it close to all the way down, and then charge it again. And if you're just going to go for a short flight, don't recharge it when you get home. Because if you're if you're used to doing short flights, just uh, wait. You know, take two flights, fly two different days, and then charge it up. But uh, don't start charging it up just because you think you need to top it off. If you do that every time, you'll get the flashing red light. Well, I want to thank you for uh, watching, and I'll let you uh, watch the video that I made while I was burning down the batteries. <laughs>